There is a reason why the testimony at the Education and Workforce Committee garnered 1 billion views worldwide. And it's because those university presidents made history by putting the most morally bankrupt testimony into the congressional record, and the world saw it. This is a moral failure of Harvard's leadership and higher education leadership at the highest levels. And the only change they have made to their code of conduct where they failed to condemn calls for genocide of the Jewish people, the only update to the code of conduct is to allow a plagiarist as the president of Harvard.